What's going on my crew? This is Jay. Welcome to another episode of Jay's Adventures. And in today's episode, you probably won't recognize this place unless you are from a long time ago. However, uh, this is my XP farm slash at one time was where all these, not these, these are fairly new, but this sword right here is from uh, before the enchantment update, um, when I went here, actually exactly on the enchantment update, I was enchanting, 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 the update came, and it's really sped up the process for me. I went back here because I remembered how easy it was to enchant something like uh, this sword. I have to tell you guys, I've been sitting here for a long time, a very long time and trying to get armored up you'll notice i have something here we need to talk about that in a second i cannot for the life of me get a good enchantment protection four protection three efficiency three power one look at this protection one looting two protection three sharpness sharpness projectile protection feather falling unbreaking fire aspect protection flame all this stuff junk absolute junk one thing i have not tried is doing like power one throwing the book away trying for this you take out another power one throw in another book actually oh no you can't do that sharpness three don't want that throw in another book punch two i don't think i have punch on my but still smite one get that out of here fire aspect don't want that you guys see what's going on i'm not getting like oh Finally, Feather Falling 4. That's actually a really good enchantment. Um, what I need... I think I already actually have Aqua Affinity equipped. Yes. What I need is I need Respiration and I need Depth Striding. And I cannot, for the life of me, get any of that. Now, thankfully what we can do is we can combine these books together. and um, They're not bad, except for Bane of Arthropods here. It's just that I'm like sitting here wasting levels trying to find the, the things that I want to find. <sighs> I really should get that feather falling. That's a good one to get. Um, before I let you guys go and, and turn it over to after I get what I want, uh, hopefully. Okay, so there is no protection five. That's good to know. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at this. We got fire protection, projectile protection, um, and just normal protection, which is great on armor. And I don't want thorns. We've got a couple unbreakings here. Uh, and then I think I have, yeah, right, an unbreaking here. So we can get maybe on the boots for because of feather falling unbreaking. Um, but I honestly, I've not been able to get a single uh, good enchantment in a long time. Um, at least the ones that I want. So I've been sitting here fishing, trying to see if I could find a book from the fishing, or at least another lure that has lure three, um, so I can go bind it with the luck of the C3, um, in order to get a decent enchantment, um, or a decent thing going here. There is, however, a automatic fishing farm, or semi-automatic fishing farm, that I could do uh, to kind of speed up the process a little bit. Not necessarily speed it up as much as make it so that I can do something else while it's working on it. So I need to go find that, research that, and get that done because um, I, I'm wanting to do other things while I'm waiting here because it's an AFK farm and I can't. But anyways, um, I am going to go ahead and turn it over to hopefully when I'm done um, here with Depth Strider and all that stuff. If I don't, then I guess um, we'll figure something else out. Alright, I will see you then. Alright you guys, I'm back. So, 
let's talk. I have accumulated quite a bit of fish, a name tag or two, some bows, some fishing rods. Check out this. Lower three, unbreaking, luck of the sea. Oh, un depth strider, feather falling, unbreaking. We got everything we need for our special battle that we're going to be doing. Uh, we are going to be fighting. I need to repair uh, Gladera here because she is very weak. Um, okay, let's talk because we are going to be fighting um, a battle in the deep sea. And I want to test out this stuff because it's pretty epic. Let's come over here to where there's some deep water and we'll test it out. So I should be able to breathe for quite a long time. We used to have these enchantments, but I think I died at some point and lost everything. Uh, I don't remember exactly how everything went down back then, but I definitely feel like here we go. Oh my goodness, look at that. With ease. Barely, barely making a dent in our air bubbles. So, let me tell, tell you guys what happened. I was recording, and my microphone... By the way, you should be able to hear me better now. Oops. Um, my microphone was not recording correctly and basically I didn't I had to kibosh all the recording but I had gone to the uh, guardian monument temple thing underwater and fought with the guardian I killed one guardian but I didn't kill any of the other ones um, I I'll be honest with you it wasn't that great of a recording but it made me kind of um, sad because it's a big moment. Now, B00 discovered, well, B00 didn't discover, but he kind of publicized the idea that the um, monument blocks, prismarine blocks, actually change color, which I did not know. So I'm actually really excited to get to um, the prismarine blocks and start mining that stuff out. Let's get over there and we will talk about strategies on killing this guy or these guys and what we're going to do with the place afterwards. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some things into here. Um, I want to make sure that we are very careful on what we bring in there. Um, bring in a stone pick axe just in case we need to break some things, but I don't want to be bringing a uh, hundred and fifty different um, well, our, our really, really valuable pickaxes. You know, I've got enough enchantments to make another one of these swords easy, and actually, I think I've got some upgrades I can make on this guy once the time comes. I want to bring some fish because we do need some food. Um, we may need a shovel, so I think I'm going to make ourselves a little bit of a shovel. Um, and there we go. We're good. This guy, actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and make ourselves an iron sword instead of using that. Um, chances are we are not going to need any of the um, enchantments like fire aspect and I know looting would be a good idea but we're obviously gonna have tons of time to sit in there and loot the crap out of everybody check this out you guys remember if you go back to the video before we actually would you shut up I'm trying to make a video um, you guys can see it's getting darker than it was just a second ago and then it gets lighter and starts to get purple. So, basically, that block right there is going to look pretty sweet in some of the builds that I want to build. Um, we're not going to keep the monument uh, other than having um, something there to kind of not really look at. But <laughs> other than having the outside probably kept intact, I want to empty it out and keep it large and... Um, use it as a farm. I'm not sure what that's going to look like, what the farm's going to look like, I mean. 
Um, but we've got plenty of food, full up on armor. The only thing we really have to lose right here is that armor. And I do not want to lose it at all whatsoever. So we've got over here, if we plop down in here, we've got this thing going on. So we should be able to, once we drink the milk, should be able to knock these guys right out. And then we can go ahead and see clearly as to what we're looking at. Having enough air to actually, you know what I just realized? We do have a little bit of a problem. Aha, here we go. That's what I wanted to get. We've got little air pockets like right here. And uh, we can move just as fast as our friends. Now. So we'll be able to take a good gander at everything that we're supposed to be seeing here. They've got thorns on them. But it looks like with the armor that I've got on, I can actually take them pretty well. All right. Looks like we got possibly some need for an air pocket there. But as you guys can see, the only thing that we really have to fear at this point is uh, time constraints. Take advantage of this. I think we, yeah, we got mining fatigue again. We're getting a little bit of lag. It's kind of crazy. All right, we've got this huge, huge room. Uh, if we're not careful, we can get killed in here. We want to try and take out these guys when we can. Take him out. Um, I want to try and get to the other side. Or something and try and get to uh, our main guy here he's somewhere oh no 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 take you out son um, we may need to break some blocks here which means we're gonna need to take some milk get up here what I'm looking for is a oh we found the sponges so we have a sponge room that's huge um, one of the things that can really suck is when you don't have a sponge room because you're basically not able to work correctly I wanna it can be dangerous coming out here but I wanted to pop down probably over here do not be detrimental oh there we go all right we're in a major part of this oh god this could be a bad 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 idea we gotta get behind something all right right here is fine All right, we got mining fatigue on us. I can't find those guardians. Aha! Here's Big Papa. Oh, his pack is going to be packing a punch. That's for sure. Oh, we're not going to make it. Even with all this armor. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, so we need to get our stuff back. This is why we didn't bring our super, super valuables. Um, all right, get three, one, two, and then all we have to do is actually, this is going to be rough. We're going to have to go on the back end there. Get all our stuff back. I need to get a bucket of milk so that when we get down there. Mine right in. And hopefully one will be enough. We just need to get down in there, grab our stuff, and um, put it on quickly. At least if we can spawn in. The problem was that I should have brought healing potions. And because I didn't... Screwed me over right there. 
So we'll just jump from the top, go right to, uh, there's a bottom part down there. In the bottom most area, and then that will allow us to hopefully get our stuff. Biggest part here is going to be timing issue. 